Hey beautiful soul, let's have a heart to heart chat about weight. Our bodies. You know, it is one of these things that can affect our entire life. Our level of happiness, our ability to socialize, and our desire and confidence to be in a relationship with someone else. Now this is a deep issue for many people in our society these days with the pressure to be more than perfect. This can be for both male and female. And what I want to talk to you about today is the reality of diets versus sourcing the root aspect that we need to transform in order for us to effectively maintain a healthy weight. What this means is that we all know we secretly like to go on a diet and lose the weight faster without doing the hard work. The work of the emotional blocks that are stopping us from maintaining a healthy weight naturally. Of course there are physical ailments like hormones and hormone imbalances and just lifestyle factors that are causing high cortisol through stressful situations, lack of sleep. All of these things play a role in why we hold on to excess weight. Yet ultimately it comes down to a deeper core issue than that. And it's very much around self-appreciation, self-acceptance, and even deeper. And this is where we're going to go today. Because when you can understand the actual origin of the issue of that weight gain, then you can transform that moment in time, that issue, that thing, that decoding we need to do, and then we can effectively get the results through great nutrition. We need to get real with ourselves and understand that we've got to do that work before we'll get the results. And even though many people understand this, not as many people are actually going to that depth. So let's begin. I want you to repeat after me. I acknowledge that all association with my body and any emotional attachments that may be comforted through the excess accumulation of physical support, physical layers, be revealed to me, be understood, be forgiven, be accepted, be acknowledged, be validated, and thereby allow me to move forward with that deep love, acceptance, and appreciation of who I am and what I stand for. So that my truest self is not only revealed in my personality, my purpose, and my actions, yet also in my beautiful physique. Whilst I know I am beautiful the way I am, I also understand there is more of me to show the world in a less hidden manner. And because of this, I choose to transform all old memories and association with my body, with my weight, and how I see myself in the world and how I see myself in the mirror to be completely transformed, healed, and nulled from my conscious and subconscious psyche so that I may now embrace a life where I am boundless, bouncy, bodacious, beautiful, and the best I can be from the inside out, mind, body, and soul, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you may need to write this down for yourself in your own words and really come into attunement with it. From this understanding, it is allowing you to intuitively know what needs to be highlighted, illuminated within your subconscious so that you can reveal your truth and not hide it through 
fake faces, through emotional layers, and through physical weight. This is your opportunity to welcome your true self to the world, mind, body, and soul. So be with yourself and understand that this physical dysmorphia that we hold for ourselves is purely another message from your guides, your subconscious, and the universe itself so that you can evolve into your greatest spiritual self and live your best human life. There you go. Love you lots, love your body, and... We'll see you next time.